All right, here we go. Second set on Fighting Spirit. Let me do my stupid little sinking thing again. Swish. And second swish. <laughs> it's so stupid. I got to figure out a better way to sink. But okay, it looks like Gujilla's in purple, so he's down at the 8 o'clock position. And over at the 5 o'clock position in orange is Type B, sending his overlord diagonally to find that probe. And if you can find the direction that the probe is coming from, if he can see which direction that probe is coming from, whether it be the t from the top or from the left, he can figure out which way to send that overlord. But okay, Cal showing a very strong play in that first game. It was basically one play that decided the entire game, but it was a very strong play using those Templar, those High Templar and Dark Templar effectively to take down the Zerg. Good play from him. And Type B is going to have to step it up if he wants to prove himself as not just another Zerg Dark Horse, the second of the three Zerg Dark Horse players. Uh, by Hero and the Batu OSL moved up, stomped through everyone, got to the semifinals, lost 3 0. Next in OSL, Type B comes up, stomps through everyone, gets to the semifinals, loses 3 0. And Shine, I gotta give it to Shine though. I gotta give Shine some credit. He only lost 3 1 in his semifinals. So good job, Shine. You've shown yourself to be the best of the Zerg Dark Horse players. But yes, Type B. I think Type B is definitely capable of taking down Cal today. He's a good kind of all-around player. He's not particularly strong in any matchup, especially not ZBZ. I think his, uh, every time I see his ZBZ, I'm not really impressed. He's taken down players like Savior, but uh, that's the matchup he lost in in the semifinals of his OSL, the Bacchus OSL, was ZBZ. Against a teammate, I'll give him that. That is kind of a big factor when you're going up against a teammate. Anything can happen. Here comes the Forge up for Cal, and I think he's going to go out to scout now. He's scouting in uh, the wrong direction with his probe. So he's going to go up there, sees that there's no creep, so he's moving straight down the map, and he's going to scout the very, very last position. So Cal, he's got to decide what he wants to do. Does he want to play it safe, or does he want to roll the dice and throw down his Nexus? Looks like he is going to throw down his Nexus. He might throw down the Nexus. He does throw down the Nexus, so he's playing a little bit risky. He could have a nine pool bearing down on him, but yeah, he since this is a four-player map, he kind of suspected that Type B would go for his hatchery first, and that's just what Type B did, so his little gamble paid off. And now that he sees the hatchery, he's probably not going to throw down his cannons just yet. Probably going to throw down a gateway. Yep, uh, I think that's a gateway. Yes, it is a gateway. So go through down that gateway and allow himself to tech a little bit faster than he would if he had thrown down the cannons. By the way, I'm extremely tired, so not everything I say today is going to make sense. I can kind of imagine myself rambling on and kind of a monotone droning voice, but yes, I look forward to it. <laughs> I'll try not to fall into the coma by the time... Uh, this match is over with, but looks like Type B is actually taking the 3 o'clock position, so you're going to try to hold that uh, ramp with some SimCity. And I've explained this before, but I'll explain it again. SimCity, in the context of StarCraft, means basically using building placement to foil your opponent's efforts. It's especially effective against Protoss, because Protoss deal with a smaller number of units. They're strong units, but there's less of them, so if you can find a way to keep those pesky 5 zealots or how ever many units away from your important buildings, you can really cause a lot of damage, especially if you have a sunken protected by an evolution chamber or something like that, kind of boxed in with hatcheries on either side. And yes, another PVZ. Oh man, I hope this, this is probably going to turn out exactly like the Ever OSL round of 36, which is to say PVZ, 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 and then Elite game. Yes, I'm <laughs> looking forward to that. But from the way things are going so far, Cal already has a win. So we might see Protoss destroying Zerg this time instead of Zerg destroying Protoss. Hard to tell. The Cybernetic score coming up for Cal. Let's see where he branches off from here. He's going to be uh, getting up his base soon, his second base. Getting that up and running. Probably throwing down a second gas or something. If he put, throws down the second gas, that'll be indicative, uh, indicating a, a Corsair Reaver build of some kind. Corsair Reaver opening anyway. And Cal is going to run around with that probe, try to find the next base coming up from Type B. Keep an eye on all the buildings, too. And Type B very smartly keeping a couple of circlings at home to block that choke and block the scouting information because that's what Cal wants more than anything right now. He wants that scouting information. 
and I don't think that he actually saw the Zerglings at the top of the choke. I think his instincts kicked in. He he started thinking to himself, well, I'm only being chased by three Zerglings right now. Where are the rest of them? They have to be blocking the choke. So that's what, probably why he backed off. Now he's going to run around here, try to look for more hatcheries, I think. And he wants to definitely see this coming his way. A Hydralisk coming out already. So he's probably going to throw down a lot of cannons at the moment, expecting a Hydralisk bust of, him, of some kind, which uh, definitely could be in the cards. It looks like Type B is moving down with some Hydras. He's grouping a bunch of Hydras together, so I, th I think he is going to go for a break. And uh, Cal's cannons should warp in just in time, but uh, I'm not sure if he built enough cannons. He probably should build one more. Looks like he is maybe going to build one more cannon. Not sure if that was another cannon or not, but I'm pretty sure it was. He's going to need a lot of cannons to fight back a Hydra Bust. So he's probably going to throw out another probe soon to see if that is the case, if Type B is going for a Hydraless break. But I think it's it's definitely possible. Definitely, definitely possible. He's going to run in here, be able to take out this gateway and get a lot of damage done there. But if he tries to move in a little bit uh, closer, he's going to be completely destroyed, I think. Oh, Cal has his cannons all oh, building that fourth cannon over there that was very smart to build it up so he could try to protect his forge a little bit he's not going to be able to protect that gateway obviously he loses that but he probably has his gateways kicking in inside the main soon anyway so he didn't really need that he probably has three or four kicking in inside of his main but yes he's going to have to build a couple more cannons to hold off the hydraless bust and he he knows how many hydras are out there because he sees it with his forge Coming in here with a counterattack with a Corsair, just trying to be extra annoying. Trying to say, Type B, you got to throw a couple Hydras back here to deal with this. Not, no, oh, it doesn't manage to take down an Overlord, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, he got it down to red, but didn't manage to take it out. He'll probably take it out later. He'll probably uh, tackle that later once he sees that Type B is running in there with all of his Hydras for the break. So he has Type B, his opportunity to attack is probably slipping away slowly but surely. Plenty of cannons here to defend against this amount of Hydras right now. So I think that Cal is still in a pretty good position even though he lost his um, gateway. And now he has there's one Hydra picking at that forge. So the forge might go down before the plus one finishes. That could be... Uh, not very good for Cal. He's kind of running up there with his Zealot, just trying to draw a little bit of fire. Trying to go, oh, he's trying to go out and draw some of the fire of the Hydra. So he definitely wants that plus one attack to finish.